This classroom at Duncan Middle School is a whole lot different than any classroom you have ever seen before. There are no textbooks, and the teacher doesn't really do a lot of teaching. I'm Scott Miller. We'll have that story coming up next. Well, it's a class where the teacher doesn't really teach. There are no textbooks, but students at Duncan Middle School are learning and loving it. STEM class combines science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Duncan School administrators hope this is just the beginning of a more engaging way to challenge the students and educate them like never before. 7 News reporter Scott Miller says the students he met today are having so much fun they want to come to this class. Scott? Chair, that's right. We've all been in the class where the teacher stands in front of the room and lectures or teaches students. You raise your hand if you have a question and ask the teacher. That's old school. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but all it takes is one STEM class and you get it. It's different and different is good. The kids get it too. They are learning by doing, having fun, working with a partner. If all classes were like this class, kids would love school. They made these in class. Call them skimmers. <laughs> this class really is different. The teacher doesn't really teach. She's there as a facilitator. Doesn't have to bug the kids to do their work either. They like it, therefore they do it. It is something that the kids are learning to do by themselves and without somebody having to tell them how to do it. That's the biggest thing that I can think of, this classroom. It is so individualized and so fun. It's just fun. What's the best way to learn? Well, for a lot of people, it's by doing. You learn a lot more. You're doing it hands-on. I mean, you're using yourself. You're not just looking in a book or asking a teacher how I do this. I went around the room and asked the students which method they prefer, old school books and teacher lectures or this method. Guess what they prefer? I prefer this because it makes you personally have to think more and have the teacher think less. As uh, Ms. Bennett said when this started, she is the facilitator, not the teacher. So we can't just ask her for help all the time. You have to resource to the internet and other sources. These students think more. Think about that. She wants us to learn how to do it ourselves. Problem solving. Now that's a real world skill that will help them for the rest of their lives. They get their computer as class starts and go to work, get this, without prompting, begging, or pleading because they want to do it. A teacher for 25 years, Miss Bennett admits she's learned more than a few things since this class began. I've learned that the kids are more engaged with what they want to do. Um, they get to work individually by themselves or with a partner. I've learned that they are learning to communicate with, well with each other. This teaching concept, hands-on learning, utilizing technology, could very well become something you will see at schools everywhere. Classroom of the future, hands-on, paperless, all those things that you think of is coming in the future. This is so not your typical classroom. Even when Miss Bennett was on the other side of the room, the time when you could try to get away with stuff, they kept working. These students are truly having fun, it is obvious, and it is obviously effective. Who knew school could be this much fun?